Since the 1950s, companies such as DuPont and 3M have been manufacturing compounds that are man-made compounds that do not break down. Um, <laughs> these compounds never break down and are widely distributed throughout the environment and they're in greater than 99.9% .9 of the U.S. blood population's blood. This is bad because these compounds have been recently linked to cancer and other diseases. The industries that manufacture these compounds want you to believe that once these compounds are landfilled on products, the releases to the environment are zero. In fact, there have been several environmental release models that have completely neglected the disposal phase. The objective of my research was to look at per and polyfluoroalkyl substance release from landfills. And I did it using two different methods. One was a, a lab scale uh, reactor in which we looked at releases from carpet and textiles. The other, we collected 104 landfill leachate samples throughout the United States and looked at the con concentrations of 70 compounds in those. The results from my lab scale work are that the release of carpet disposed from one year releases 20 tons of one of the compounds in its precursors. This is pretty significant because for that same compound, the previous global estimates for one year are one ton. So we, the fact that the disposal phase has been missed is very significant and my work shows that it needs to be included. I am still in the process of uh, getting all the data together and analyzing it to get together the results for the 104 landfill leachate samples, um, but they will also support the fact that disposal needs to be considered in global models.